Hi there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 2 a.m. on the dot here in Dhaka. And I'm going to be doing one episode for you tonight. I realize I don't want to do too many videos because it really, <laughs> you know, people don't have that much time. So I'll do one video today for summer since summer is here full on. It's even warm at night, you know, but the cool breeze, everything is gone. So basically we have to uh, wear some freshies. So today's episode is a little bit different. Please do watch out for it. You can also check the description box for the name list if you are too lazy to watch the video or if you have, don't have enough time, right? So that's fine. But uh, if you are looking to get some unusual fragrances, doesn't have that mainstream vibe that not many people talk about, you know, this is the kind of that list, you know, I don't know how I'm going to title this, but these fragrances, not that many people talk about. These are hidden gems, okay? So uh, let me think of a title that will be, you know, interesting, but let me uh, get that uh, video going. As I show you, you understand. I've reviewed all these fragrances in the past. They are all from my collection and uh, you can check them out in depth for in depth review, okay, or analysis. First fragrance I want to show you today, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen this in, I don't know, I haven't seen any reviewers talking about it in recent times. This is one of my favorite houses, you know, I got this backup bottle for a reason. This is called uh, Silver Sand Deep, okay? Have you seen this anywhere? No, right? I have reviewed this long time ago. This is Jacques Bogart house, you know, you guys know about Jacques Bogart, Bogart Purom, then, you know, Bogart, One Man Show, Uderisha, and you guys know about those. But this line, Silver Sand, it's a line, it's a solid line. They have Silver Sand, Pure, Deep, Intense, Silver Sand, I think maybe there are a few more, I don't know. But this one right here is a sweet um, fragrance, but can be worn in summer. It has excellent longevity, but that beast mode that people and if you see the british reviewers talking about uh like george talked about silver sand it's like nuclear and stuff right yes this is also very long lasting but what they did with the deep they still have that solar uh, the soda pop vibe you know like a soda grape juice you know like grape soda that sort of vibe uh, it still maintains that but uh, on a much uh, bearable level do not put too much it's really really beautiful you know this fragrance i will tell you when I got it at first I felt like blueberry or grape something like it in it and it's very sweet if you like sweet fresh fragrance you can try this one silver sun deep I don't know if it's still available but it was very affordable when I got it first so next one I'm going to show you there are a few discontinued fragrances on this list this is going to be Thierry Mugle Ice Man okay or Ice Man so these are super rare to find I got this like one time I saw it in one of the pages and uh, they were bringing it I don't know if it's available anymore but it was never very expensive. It has this nice little bottle. I like it. And it has green, nice colored juice. So this one is an iced coffee, mint, you know, I think the patchouli, nutmeg, that sort of vibe. Uh, that, that, that sort of vibe, you know, it's like a Wrigley's bubble gum. You know, you can say mint, you know, that sort of vibe. And it's very cooling. It definitely evokes the feel of ice. I do not know why they had to discontinue this, but this was actually on the good Mugler fragrances. Apart from Mugler Cologne, you know, some Ultra Zest, some of the other freshies. This was good time of Thierry Mugler. This is from Thierry Mugler. Definitely try it out. It's called Ice Man. Okay. There's another one similar to this that released, but I don't have that. So next one, I'm going to show you this fragrance. I, I haven't seen any review talk about this. Uh, this is Bentley for Men Azure or Azure. Okay. You, if you see it like that, you'll see very beautiful bottle. Base is kind of blue and then the juice color and the bottle. Everything is just so beautiful. This is from that Bentley for Men line. They definitely have that uh, Bentley for Men Intense, which one, which gets the most talk. Bentley for men, uh, absolute, they get really, really nice stock. But this one, even Silver Lake got some popularity due to Max Forty's review. Um, Azure, I saw it long time back. I did not care for it because I thought it was not very long lasting. It was not overwhelming. It was underwhelming when I tried first time. And then slowly I realized, you know, not every fragrance has to do the same thing. This one has this uh, ozonic kind of like um, violet leaves, you know, kind of like aquatic vibe. And it's very subtle fragrance for office. Excellent, excellent. Longevity is good, but the projection is just on the low side. But this for the summer is a very much beautiful fragrance. I would say Bentley for Men Azure. You can try this. It's a very different fragrance from the whole line. So I have back to back two Ferrari fragrances. And I know this whole line is discontinued, but I understand that it can still be had for very good price tag, $35, $40. This is a very, very good uh, solid price. You know, this used to be $75 the whole line but i'm going to show you two okay i'm not going to show you the whole line first one i'm going to show you is called radiant bergamo by ferrari essence line take a look at the juice color you might uh, get an idea what kind of fragrance this is going to be so radiant bergamo is not your typical bergamo or like citrus or lemon this one is a bitter kind of a bergamo at first i did not care for it 
then once I understood that concept, it's very beautiful. You definitely have to give this one a sniff. And this one feels like a kind of like a creamsicle in a way, but it has this nice little balance between citrusiness and a little bit of a bitterness. And this fragrance plays differently. You know, it's a very unique fragrance. Okay, definitely you got to try. This is called uh, Ferrari Radiant Bergamo from the Essence line. Next one is even more a uh, favorite of mine uh, over the previous one. This is called Noble Fig. This juice color is also very beautiful. It has this mild green, almost like a vetiver color. But if you never tried fig, this could be a good starting point. It's one of those fig notes that it's not very daring. Sometimes fig can be very, very dry, like, you know, Dior's Dune, you know, Dune or Dune. Purim has this kind of, uh, you know, safari or desert vibe. This one is on the more on the fruity side. I really think this fragrance. Uh, if you want to try some fig, this quality is of Tom Ford level. Okay, I'm not kidding you. If you smell this and you smell some, let's say Fico di Amalfi by um, Aqua di Parma, Fico di Amalfi from home. Yeah, I think those blue lines, whatever. But those fragrances are so expensive. This one lasts longer than Aqua di Parma. I'm not having any uh, comparison or whatever, but makes sense, you know, like if you want to have a great fig signature scent, this is it. For summer, beautiful, refreshing. Uh, Ferrari's Noble Fig. So that's the last five. Now let's go for top 10, okay? So top 10, I'll start with this fragrance. It used to get some talk back in the days, but with time, people forgot about it. It's such a stunning line. The whole line is beautiful, got platinum. I think got a few of the other ones, but I still enjoy. Coach for men or coach for him, okay? I bought a massive bottle in somewhere 2020 and uh, there was an offer going on, you know, not super cheap, but I got a good deal on this, the 200 more. And I think, you know, some people say this one replaces Dior Sauvage. For me, no. Dior Sauvage has its place, you know, I would say uh, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon has its place. All the similar fragrances have their own place. But this one smells a bit different. It has excellent strength, longevity. It fills up a room. It stays in the room. Excellent sillage. For the price, amazing fragrance. You know, this one is underrated. Many people like it. Handsome fragrance. Even less annoying version of Dior Sauvage, I might say. Okay, this is called Coach for Men. Definitely try it out. I like this bottle. Only part I don't like is this atomizer, which is very horrible. <laughs> Okay, number nine, unique fragrance to say the least. I used to show this a lot and I still am happy I still have it. This is Gucci Guilty Cologne, okay? This perfume, I bought like 150 ml, big bottle. And I don't know if it's still available, but this is one of the most unique fragrances like Gucci made like Memoir du Noir. I forgot that name. They have this fragrance, which is herbal green. I did not care for it, but later I understood that fragrance. I want to buy it, but it's super expensive. Gucci made some unique fragrances and they gave it name like Gucci Guilty. Uh, this is a, they are definitely guilty of it, but this fragrance should have been an unique own individual new release, you know, because this fragrance smells nothing like Gucci Guilty, okay? This one is herbal green fresh vibe and has excellent longevity, beautiful. Longevity is beautiful and trust me, if you want one of the most unique fragrances in summer, this is one of them, okay? Uh, one of the best cologne version of any fragrance I tried. Gucci Guilty cologne, amazing, 10 out of 10. Number eight, do you know the reviewer Ashton? <laughs> oh, definitely you guys know. Uh, he is the funniest. He has the best sense of humor. He pumps videos every day. He's one of the most happening reviewers, you know, like uh, Jensen's, you know, like he's like, I'm Jensen's, right? So I know him when he started his channel. He started, I think, few months after my channel started. And we are good friends, you know. He is, uh, I would call him a good friend, even though we don't talk that much frequently. But uh, he, uh, you know, he has this, history and I have history with him so this is the fragrance I'm showing you first this is called CK1 gold if you do not know the story the story behind this fragrance is uh, Ashton's sister was face of this perfume and I was surprised to know that and I will tell you this fragrance is super you know like when it was released I think it's discontinued now very hard to find I think I have plenty of juice left in the bottle one of the most amazing looking CK1 bottles melting gold some people say may, may say gimmicky I'm a big fan of CK1 line I collect a lot of them this one apparently has the oud note and I think uh, perhaps fig or one of those fruity notes. It's a very sweet, very underrated kind of fragrance and it smells supposedly should be good for winter. I enjoy this in summer. Opening is like million dollars. Definitely try it out. This is called CK1 Gold and definitely check out the commercial of this fragrance which features Ashton's sister. So CK1 Gold. Next one. Salvatore Ferragam, I'm bringing this back. This is called Urban Feel. I always forget the name. There are too many releases. This is another blue fragrance which flew under the radar. Nobody talked about it. This is one of the most, uh, I would say, 
mm, not very unique but it's one of the most underrated fragrance in a sense that this is great for the city city life work office if you have like a shirt white shirt you know just tucked in formal pants no suits this fragrance is sporty youthful this fragrance brings energy right after the shower it, uh, you know definitely will uh, make you feel refreshed and stuff very nice fragrance has the blue shower gel vibe but different okay uh, not very unique but different than everything else cannot be called a clone of anything you can like dylan blue perhaps you like this okay but it's different also okay salvatore ferragamo vomo urban feel great fragrance so i have six number six then i hit top five number six is this fragrance people are guilty that people don't talk about this house i am so sad not mad sad the reason being this house deserves a lot more love they have so many beautiful fragrances people don't try you know like bulgari you know you guys know bulgari has great fragrances but people like eh, you know eh, i don't know you know people's reactions that if you see this line try it out this is called bulgari purom soar they have bulgari purom bulgari purom soar and intense i have this and intense this is my more favorite intense lasts longer than this but this one has the tea man that tea note is something to die for very gorgeous very gorgeous and it's like uh, it has that feel you know the cap is also very heavy you know jewelry makers they definitely put attention to detailing very heavy cap so this one bulgari is black bulgari is one more fragrance is coming up i'm gonna give them credit because these are underrated this is one of the best tea based fragrances trust me on this this got some smoky vibe a little bit of a rubbery vibe try it out for office this is an excellent choice for summer this is called bulgari purom swa okay that's number six top five this content item i just love showing you this one hunt it down when you can but this one is picking up super price tag just check out the fragrance on uh, amazon ebay this is called Givenchy's play as you can tell this is the base uh, vintage version i have about three this one intense play in the city i have also one more sport this is my favorite for summer fruity fresh sweet beautiful combination it's a youthful fragrance justin timberlake was the face for it this was in shape of mp3 player very creative days of Givenchy, another underrated house if you smell this you know perhaps not the beast mode activated but this perfume is so lovely in summer you just want to enjoy relax chillax you know go on a hotel lobby by the pool you're just enjoying your i don't know coconut or something like that this is a fragrance i would wear very beautiful you can say almost bubble gummy type but not that annoying beautiful fruity fresh sweet perfume with a hint of citrus okay Givenchy's play uh, number four here is the other bulgari that i love this is super rare now this is super expensive nobody talked about it flew under the radar people talk about bulgari's man in black this is where it came from pink pepper uh, got some oranges you know i think got some vetiver you know some it's like a fresh spicy masculine also got that orange beautiful balance great longevity on the shirt lasts about seven to eight hours try it out if you don't want to wear bulgari's man in black in summer this is the daytime version check out my review on this this is an amazing fragrance you know those back in the days the reviewers used to review this check out the review bulgari's man i would rate this like nine out of ten number three discontinued gem uh, this is the fragrance <laughs> uh, this is called pakurabon one million cologne i got this long time back and this bottle something special about it from front the juice car looks golden but actually it's the paint at the back that makes it like that but if you see it from this side oh man no you see it from this side see the juice color is kind of like mild yellow not that golden so that's the juice color and the best thing about this fragrance is all that one millions cannot take out the cap this one you can when you smell it man uh, such an underrated rose aquatic watery kind of citrus and it's not super heavy like one million it can be worn also all year round but i feel this fragrance if you put two sprays on yourself uh, you're gonna be very unique nobody's gonna smell like you this is one of the most unique fragrances in my arsenal 1 million cologne by pakura ban check it out discontinued but worth the collecting number two my favorite versace the dreamer yes i know many people would say versace the dreamer could be a good powdery uh, tobacco fragrance for winter i know but in high heat in malaysia i tried bangladesh i tried still a beast mode fragrance if you do not have this if you do not have versace's uh, blue jeans these two fragrances are super underrated affordable beautiful long lasting I personally prefer Dreamer a lot because one thing is the bottle. Look at that Versace's logo. The Medusa head is raised. This is one of the stunning looking bottles from Versace and I like how they made the juice color so see-through. It doesn't tell you a story. Moment you spray this on, man, it, according to Mark, I got this for Mark, you know, like Robes 08. He got me interested in this. When I tried it, 
I did not like the opening. It was too strong, powdery. As the time progressed, it's like magic. Longer and longer it stays on your skin. As per Mark says, it gets better. That's the magic of Versace, the dreamer. Try it out. Excellent signature scent. That's number two. Number one, let me finish the video with this note. This is a niche fragrance. This is the most expensive in this whole lineup. And I don't know why I brought it up. I have huge love for this. This made my number one creed many years. Okay. And my mind changes. I do pick different creeds <laughs> different times. But at this current moment, it's Royal Oud. Okay. This is not perhaps it, but summer. This is summer king. This is the fragrance. Virgin Island Water. This fragrance used to come with a blue cap, I think I remember, uh, before. This is also 120 ml, vintage version. Coconut, pina colada, I think pina colada, how do you say that? Okay, it's like a boozy, like a coconut, like a lime. This fragrance, man, in the high heat, higher the heat, this fragrance is king. It's like an emperor. It projects through. Sometimes I got compliments, sometimes I got negative comments, like, hey, you smell like coconut oil that people, people put on the head. And that's not a good thing because that's what it's like, you know, it's a practice here. I'll tell you, uh, see this, this, I use this sometimes. It's a, I use original coconut oil as well, but this one has that uh, belly uh, flower vibe with aloe vera and stuff with that coconut oil. It's, it's much more smoother, but the original coconut oil, it's kind of like very straightforward, tropical, very intense. This one is very intense, okay? The older batches, I believe, used to have more lime and this later batches got more coconut, but mine, I get both equally. This fragrance tomorrow I'm going to wear because sun is up. This is a perfect fragrance to wear. This is so beautiful. One of the best creeds, hands down. Okay, try it out. I like this over Aventus. There you go. Number one is uh, today Virgin Allen Water. So check this fragrance out and do tell me which ones you never tried and you are interested in. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.